Hey, 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 everyone. It's JNA together again. Hi, Alicia. That was a lot of rhyming right there. Hey, hey, I know. hey, it's JNA. <laughs> oh, I just had a moment where uh, I don't know why, but it just triggered me thinking of me being on stage at Choose You and just rocking it out with the crowd. Like, I feel like this is like a mix of me wanting to be JLo slash like, just like being a DJ. I also, I got that clue from you when you suggested an outfit change. <laughs> like, I feel like I need to be the DJ with an outfit. Okay. I was thinking like, how cool would it be? Okay. I have Nike. I've been thinking of Nike sneakers, like the high top ones. Yes. Um, Cause they're cool, but I don't yeah. know what I would wear with that. But I'm thinking like Nike Lulu's cute crop top hat, your weight loss hat, like really let just like, but I'm pretty. Cause I have like tons of makeup. Um, but like, just like, like that vibe, you know, like kind of really go into that role, like that. I'm not Jose, that I'm the DJ. Um, and then kind of just changing last minute for, I can't have a hat though, because I'll have my hair up, but whatever, like I can like, kind of like rock that scene. Um, and then change right before we come out on stage for like the show. I don't, know. I mean, I, you could, I could, why not? I mean, I can do whatever I want. You can. I assume that Crystal is booked to do our makeup again. Uh, yes. And she is like one of the last ones that have not canceled on us. Um, wow. for like, like photographer canceled hair canceled, uh, forgot to tell you, but Gusto canceled our reservation. Cause there's like a wedding. And so they like, not the acceptable. Not so like, I didn't, acceptable. I know where are we going to eat food? So we need to think about that. I'm not worried, but, um, yeah, it's, it, I find it difficult that Moncton like doesn't have food after 10 PM. Like, like we arrived from Les Îles de la Madeleine on my birthday and every restaurant was closing at 9 p.m. And so we couldn't even find, like we went to Swiss Chalet on my birthday uh, because it was, it was the only restaurant that was open till 10. This is devastating. Yeah. Uh, I mean, only restaurant. The only restaurant that the way I was dressed and yeah. looked uh, <laughs> could handle. Um, we could have gone to Sophia and Spritz. We could have gone to the keg. But like, even then, like I think 10 p.m. is like, they're like kitchen is closing, you know? Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. So anyway, okay. so we'll talk about it. That's, that's important. So is your DJ outfit. There's a lot of things actually after yesterday talking to you about choose you, I, I switched from like, not nervous, but like, Oh shit, this is happening. And like, we're going to be on stage and whatever to like, just pure excitement, pure excitement. I feel like, um, uh, it's all coming together and what we wanted to accomplish for that night couldn't be done before this moment. Like, no. it's not like we would have like picked our outfit in April. That's ridiculous. Um, but the important Is things, <laughs> the important things, like making sure that we understand our show and that like, it's, you know, that we know the template and we know what's up, um, couldn't be done early because we have some surprises and we needed to wait for the surprises to come together. So, um, anyway, just because we're talking about it, you guys choose you, you need to either buy your ticket to the Capitol theater. We're going to hit 500 very soon. So 500 probably women in a crowd is going to be the bomb um, or online. If you're not from the area, like that is the $27 worth of just pure fun. Like basically I'm like, come on, buy the ticket, watch the show, have a blast. Yeah. And you can have like a girl's night, have your girlfriends over. Uh, the, the recording will be available. If you purchase the virtual ticket, the recording will be available until October 1st. So you don't have to watch it live. Exactly. Um, and I was even thinking like October 1st is a Saturday. I'm like, I'll just do October 2nd. So they can even like maybe, um, plan that weekend, like an extra maybe. weekend to plan like a girl's night or whatever. Cause I feel like people might watch it on the weekend, but yeah, you guys, you don't have to watch it live. You can watch the recording. And this time we're actually giving you like two weeks to watch the recording. So don't miss out, go in and look at our link tree. The, the virtual ticket is right there. So guys, we haven't like recorded a <laughs> podcast in like over a month. It's, Hi. it's so long that we can't even catch up on what happened. Yeah, absolutely not. So guys, uh, today is actually the date, like it's August 31st, the day we're recording this. So you're listening to this on September 1st. So hi, it's really real time. Can't be more yeah. real time than this. No. Um, it's been busy. Alicia has been here for like not even a week and it's been go, go, go for sure to get ready for the launch. So that's what we want to talk to you about. But other than that, people want to hear about your trip leash. I mean, I feel like if they followed me on Instagram, if they should have followed me on Instagram. They saw the whole thing, every single last detail. It was amazing. It was the flights were amazing. The kids were amazing. It was warm in England. They are not set up for a heat wave. I will tell you that. 
Uh, and it, the kids had tons of amazing experiences. We went to, we saw Lion King. We went to Legoland. We did the London Eye. We did a hop on hop off bus. They got to do a, like a football game, a soccer game and be the mascots. It was an amazing experience for the kids. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. And, but you know what? Oh my gosh. Is it ever good to be home? Oh, yeah. my own bed space, space, space. space. Yeah. I could tell, like in that country. Yeah. Like even leash was like, why do people live there? Like, it's like not bad. It's so tight. Everything is like, so like, and you have to go so far to get to things like, and everything's just so hard. Like, because every resource is in such demand, like a parking spot. Cause there's so many humans, a parking spot. Like, where do I put my garbage? That is like in demand. Did you okay. see the video I posted of the roads? Yes. Yeah. And they, you have to go on the side to make another car. Like that's not okay. I feel like this is not safety. Ha- it's a safety hazard. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we were driving like that huge van to hold all of us, which is not normal, right? Most people in the UK have teeny little cars to like fit, like, so that it's not annoying to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're all so happy you're back in your beautiful I am- home. So happy to be back and the pool I got like finished almost. Well, it, it'll probably never be actually finished, but like we're like 97% finished. So the pool is was waiting for us when we got back and we've been in it every single day. Yeah. No. Yeah. You guys are rocking the pool life. I love that for you. Um, while Alicia was away for me, it was mostly like sickness and, uh, <laughs> I like lost my prime, uh, helper babysitter, which was my mom. Um, she's like on hold right now. And so it's like, for me, it was not a good two, three weeks for sure. It was like different. Like the kids were sick. I was sick. Like, it was just like, oh my God, I was like a, a, a rough end to summer, but now like, it's like the weather's good. And we're finishing this last week, you guys. And tomorrow is September, which is actually not acceptable. And And I was thinking about how when August 1st hit, I know we're talking about like freaking the weather and calendar days, but like that's, we're old. This is what we talk about. But like July, I was like, oh, let's repeat July. Like that was like fun. Let's redo it. It went too fast. August, did it even like, did it even happen? Like, it's like not even, it it was crazy. Like it wasn't even like, I remember turning around. It's like my birthday, which means mid August. And I feel like I just spent two weeks doing nothing. Anyways, um, so time is flying. Okay. And I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm going to take this call. Yes, go take it's like the important. call. I think it's the kids, teachers. You keep going about your thing. I'm coming yes, back. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys. So tomorrow is September 1st, okay? And even if you don't believe it, it's happening. And tomorrow we're having a huge launch at Your Weight Loss. So that's like really exciting for us. This is a big deal for us. A brand new course. We haven't done a brand new course since 2019 or 2020 was the beer best. Um, So it's been two years of, I mean, the content is always, always relevant. The content that's on the website. So you need to understand that when you're a Your Weight Loss member, you have the community piece, which is the Facebook, the like everyday lives, like just like content. Um, real-time content, like everyday content. Every week there's a new, you know, a new theme, a new duo meeting. A duo is just means Alicia and I are together and we're, there's like a theme and a topic. Um, but on top of that, there is an, a course like the Euro weight loss also has an evergreen course, which means it lives on. It's always relevant. And it's like that knowledge that you always need to go back to, and that you'll always need to remind yourself and to relook at and to adjust anyways. So we looked at that um, course and we're like, it's, it's fantastic, but we wanted to kind of like, I don't clean it up or make it more accessible to our members and even shorter, like almost less is more and just going to the essentials. So everything about your weight loss right now in September is going back to essentials. Like what do the humans need to know to do to get long-term success? And so uh, we cleaned up beer best. There were a few things that we're definitely keeping in there because we have the beer best summary meetings. Like there's so much like good stuff. So for those that do have that extra time to give to content, go for it. But we have a new course and it's the how to course. And um, really what we're trying to do here is to get into your brain of what does it, what does a member, what does society often question themselves when it comes to creating, you know, their weight loss journey and their new habits and what their struggles, like what is like, what is their most 
What do they need to know? Like what's essential right now for them? So we created a course that really hits home for that. So I'll wait for Alicia and we'll go through the sections together. The other thing we created that we've never had is the three phase starter program. Now this program is to guide new members in a way that we've never done before. So you know that your weight loss is for you to find your way, to figure out your way to create a calorie deficit. And it's to just let you be, uh, for you to be able to find content that really, I guess, resonates with you, but there's no right way to start. And then I'm like, cause there's no wrong way to start. Right. So I'm like, okay, how can we really guide members when they join where they're like they feel like they're being talked to but also very much like they it's the pep talk that you never knew you needed when you start a weight loss program so often the pep talk is a meal plan and a grocery list and a do this don't do that that's not the pep talk at your weight loss when you join so now when members join starting today is they get, they get um, linked to the starter program. It's like, okay, this is where you start. And it's a video of Alicia and I, it's phase one. It's like, hello, hello, friends, welcome. And I do think it is the pep talk that most need when they start a weight loss program. And we realized we didn't know that you needed that kind of pep talk. Uh, but we realized that society is so used to dieting that without the pep talk, they put themselves on their own diet. 100%. And I think also before we were like, okay, there's so much content available for you. You go and you will let you figure it out. We'll let you do your thing. We're actually being a lot more bossy. We're like, nope, you're, you can't do that right now. You're not ready for that. You do this. So I, I, we'd never been that bossy before. And it was almost like people were wanting us to be more bossy. But oh, we, 1 million percent. They, they were like, I need more guidance. And I was like, you just need me to say, Hey, press play. Like, yeah. So it's almost like we're just giving people permission to do this and put that. So like, we've really chunked like phase one, phase two, phase three, do this. Like this is your action items to do in this month. We understand that everyone comes in with different baggage, different limiting beliefs, different uh, experiences, different knowledge. Like we get that, but for everyone it's so important for you to recognize that there is learning before you go and implement any type of, uh, you know, action or behavior or habit. Like there are things you need to learn. There is shit you need to listen to shit, like good shit, but please know that like, so when you join, we're like, hello, phase one is literally one whole month of learning. And as much as that's going to maybe hurt you, because you're going to be like, oh my God, one whole month. Am I like, you feel like almost if you're not attacking weight loss on day one, you feel like you're aka wasting your time. No, you're actually wasting your time by starting another diet that you've done. That's wasting your time. Oh, talking about wasting your time. Listen to this. Someone sends me a message. Apparently there's this new thing. It's called magical. Um, it's 150 I saw, bucks. I was on my walk when I heard that message come through, like my watch. I don't know my, I, I they tell me what happens. Okay. And okay. I was like, no, did you listen to what I sent her? I did not listen to what you sent her, but I was like so upset. And she said, is it safe? And I'm like, of course it's like safe. Like you're not going to die, but like, oh, no, okay, no. my message was so good. Though. Um, like basically it's like, what do you think? And I was like, and that's what I think at the end, but really guys, it's this thing. I'm not even going to name it. Cause I don't even want you to freaking Google it, no. but it's like this three day, obviously thing that you bought $150 three day program that made me laugh program for three days. What are you even like? Don't even use the word program. Like, you know, anyways, but uh, a three day thing that you do buy eat. I don't even know. I don't even want to look it up, but 150 bucks for three three days. Okay. And she's like, apparently people are saying it's like magical. Like they lost 10 pounds in three days. Um, like, is it safe? <laughs> and I'm like, use that. And I wrote after my, my, uh, voice voice, whatever. I'm like, that's three days of just being miserable. Like, I don't even like you are adding zero value to your life. Use that $150 to become a better human. I said to become happier, not more miserable. You, you accomplished nothing. You accomplished nothing in those three days. What a waste of your time and money. What a waste. When you think about it, you have accomplished nothing. That 10 pounds is worth nothing in your life. Like you're not like all of a sudden 10 pounds heavier for the rest of your life. Like it, you literally, what you were miserable for three days, you lost 10 pounds, 
and just wait to gain it back. Like that's it, like literally in five seconds. 100%. You're most of it's water weight that you've lost in those three yeah. days. Like, yeah. and you, like you said, you're miserable and it's expensive, but why are people, let's just like have this honest conversation. Why are people willing to invest $150 into a three day I don't know what it is that they're putting in their body, but will not spend $150 on a four month actual program. <laughs> it's because they Alicia? get something. It's, it's, it's a physical thing. I think, cause you're getting liquid to Again. put in your body. I am sorry, you guys, you guys, you, oh. that is just emotional behavior. And you are, that is ridiculous. You guys, we like, oh my goodness, this is an honest conversation, up. but Alicia and I are so fired up by how people invest in shit, literal shit, and they'll spend money, but they do not want to spend $40 on something that will change their life. And I'm like, what is happening? Why is that always happening? And Alicia's like, it's because it's not a product. They can't see it with their eyes. And I'm like, it's time for society to start uh, valuing self improvement for God's sake. Like why isn't society, uh, you know what I wanted to say, why isn't society valuing self improvement? I, I, I really do not know. I, 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 I don't know if it's because you, you have don't an answer, get a phys- reply. It, it's because you don't get a physical thing, or maybe it's because we are not promising you 10 pounds of weight loss, but we're promising you a happier life. I just, I, I can't, like, it's just, it's so, it, and I think obviously it frustrates us most because that's our work. And we're like, it's like, they're, they don't value our work. And I'm like, oh my God, like we could change your life. Like we could change your life, but you value this like random three. man that yeah. has like, has, yeah, that it came up with like three day program I for 150 bucks. And he's like, people will buy this. And he is just Gross. cashing in. Like, I just like, Gross. and he's not putting in work and he's not, you know what I mean? Like it's yuck. It actually just makes me upset that the, in this industry, that there are people like, cause we're chunked in the diet industry. And it's almost like when I tell someone what I do and it's like, you're in the weight loss industry, you, you instantly get that like yuck face. I know. And, and it's I'm upset because people like that are the reason why people look at me with the yucky face, but they don't yeah. really know what we do. Yeah. Oh my God. Huh? This, this that. went down South. <laughs> Um, not in the Caribbeans. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's anyways, it's so, yeah. mm -hmm. So yes, it's like, people do not invest in therapy. They don't invest in like literally going inside and becoming a happier version. They're going to go and spend $150 in three days of misery thinking that's happiness. It's just too much. It's just too much. Okay. Everyone. So phase one is the learning piece. And so we're like really telling people like, calm the F down, put the, put the broccoli down, put the fish down. Okay. (laughs) Do not go for a run. Do not go for a run. And you better friggin' press play. And you have, and and we actually say, this is what you press play to. We have a course for you. You're going to press play and you're going to, you're going to shut up and you're going to press play. Okay. (laughs) We love you. (laughs) And you know what? I, I really truly believe that if people took weight loss as the main goal aside and just focused on the learning, which is what we really want for people in phase one. I really truly believe that most people will also lose weight that month. It just won't be the focus, but I really truly believe that most people will lose weight that first month. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Good talk. Um, okay. Next part is just our course. So we're going to go through the topics to get them excited and then we're good to go. This will be the podcast for this week. Um, okay. So the first one is how to create a calorie deficit. Okay. You guys. So we've realized that if someone just like, again, if we don't talk to you, when you join, you put yourself on a diet. Like naturally that's what the human behavior does. So we're like, okay, we need to like really get them right when they join. So they do not put themselves on a diet. The next thing though, for you to help us help you not put yourself on a diet is to literally go into your brain about all the, the confusion you have, all the like, uh, questions you have and the limiting beliefs you have so that we can get the right shit in your brain so that you stop putting yourself in a diet and calorie deficit is that thing like how to create a calorie deficit you need to understand what 
is a calorie deficit. If you do not know that, you will keep eating fish and broccoli. You will keep going for a run. You will keep thinking you can't eat at night. There is just like all the shit that you learn in the diet industry. You will keep putting yourselves on those diets because it's all you know. So if you know other shit, you will change your behaviors. How many times can I say shit? Yeah, I like it. I, I'm here for this episode. Um, you will also continue to feel guilty when you eat things like a donut or chips or whatever. And then that guilt shame spiral will always continue that ends up in you binging because you ate one donut. So you're a bad person. So then you eat 10. Like I really truly believe that calorie deficit understanding that also can really help you to not have those emotional binging moments anymore. Yeah. Okay. So in that section, there's like, can I eat too little? How, what should be my calorie deficit number? What is a calorie deficit? Uh, explaining how calories go out and in, like, it's just, it's a really good section. Absolutely. All right. Next section is what? How uh, to create a habit, which I'm really excited about. That was something that wasn't a part of our actual course before. And it's really like concrete again, guys, so much power behind creating actual habits in your life. That's how you change your life. Like James clear knows what's up with his book. Oh yeah. And James clear talks your weight loss language though. Absolutely. Um, Yeah. And like right there, like learning actual things to do to lose the 10 pounds and not three days of misery where you will not, you didn't lose 10 pounds. That's what I told her. You didn't lose 10 pounds. Just FYI. Like let's look a little bit in the future though. You did not lose 10 pounds. Like you just spent three days losing 10 pounds, but you did not lose 10 pounds. Like in real life, real time, like that did not happen because you're gaining it back five seconds later. Like why are we not focused or interested in learning on how to actually do that. We just like want to like make someone else do it or a product do it. And that does not exist. Does not exist. What does work guys is you taking your actual life. Okay. Your job, your environment, your number of kids, your life, and then creating habits that fit with your life that will also allow you weight loss. So that's why we have an entire section on how to create habits, because you're going to need to create new habits, change other ones in order to implement this in your actual life. And like, how many times does it take for you to keep losing weight and gaining it back (laughs) for you? If you should see me on YouTube right now, I am losing my mind. How many times does it take for you to lose weight and gain it back? for you to stop wanting to do that. Like zero interest in this three-day program. Like I have zero want for your stupid diets of telling me what to eat. Go away is what I think. So I'm like, why are people even interested in this? Like how many times do you have to do it for you to get to the point where I'm at? Like, I don't know. Here's what, here's what gets to me too, is they say, but it worked. And I'm like, oh my God define worked. You lost weight and then gained it all back. Like now we're back here. You're still like when people are like, they, people like to go back to what they know. So it's September 1st, people are feeling fluffy. They're going to go back to counting calories, to not eating carbs, to all these things that they maybe lost 20 pounds on. And then they gain it all back. And that cycle. I just like, like, aren't you tired of the cycle guys? Time is passing. Like you are wasting your time. Talk about wasting your time. That is what I was you're doing. just going to say that guys, people that are listening to this podcast, how long have you been dieting for? Like I literally had been dieting for a good 15 years, literally like, the same you cycle. Tired? I was exhausted by it. So what did I have to do in order to see success? Finally, something different. And it I'll was bet, not counting anything. It was not, it was something different. I needed to do something different. Oh my God. This podcast leash, you're going to have to like cut like little like videos. And like, you put that on Instagram tomorrow. Yes, boss. Podcast. You're just basically talking about the podcast tomorrow on okay. Instagram. Nothing else Holy to do. Shit. Just, we're fired up. And I think what happens is it's not, we're fired up. Like we're making them realize things. And so many people, like some people have joined after listening to the podcast that they're like, when you said that, I'm like, well, Why didn't I ever think of that? It's like, they don't see their own behavior. And you guys, that's what we do at your loss. We help you create awareness around your behaviors. Like, don't you see that you're doing this? And so, and it's like, instead of always not blaming, but putting the emphasis on like what others can do for you, you're, you're actually finally giving yourself space to learn more about yourself and to take charge of this. And like, honestly, 
aren't you tired of being told what to do and it's not working? So how about you like try yourself? And like, people are like, try to do it myself. Like, obviously by myself, I can't do it. I'm like, you can't do it because of the way you think. That's like your the, your thoughts and your knowledge is not allowing you. And I'm sorry, all, when other people were telling you what to do, that didn't work either. So like, it's just, we're, it's the way you speak, you guys. It's what you think is it's stopping you. Okay. There's a lot, Ooh. there's a lot here. Okay. Next topic is how to um how to create your own meal plan is one of them and I love this section for me I think this will be very is very helpful for people that are worried about not having a, a meal plan honestly that's the best part of the program I will never give a meal plan I did a whole friggin' uh uh what's that on the what's that on the highway billboard that's way too expensive for <laughs> I put way too money, much money on that billboard but at least we were pretty celebrating oh, 10 that was worth it that was worth yeah. it I'm sorry I know okay so celebrating 10 years of no meal plans like I did a billboard about the fact that I will never ever give you a meal plan and if you keep thinking you need a meal plan then you're you just keep thinking that you keep driving past my billboard um but you guys like please know that like this section I'm like really proud of because I'm actually giving them the strategies for them to create their own shit. So yes. like in my mind, I'm like, I'm not just telling you, I'm not giving you anything. What I'm giving you is we're going to talk about the beliefs you have around meal plans and you thinking you need one. Like, do I need to eat at certain times? Do I need to eat certain foods? Uh, how do, what if I'm a volume eater? What if I like variety? What, like we're talking about those things. Yeah. So that you can go after that and stop thinking that someone else needs to tell you what time to eat. It's basically helps you create your own way. There's a big, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done, but your own way of actual physical, like your system of what you eat, when you eat, what you eat, like we're creatures of habit. So for, again, it's about what works for you. There's no better, like eating six times a day, three times a day, eating at night, not eating at night, eating breakfast, not eating breakfast, eating tons of protein. Like honestly. The most important thing is that you create a system for yourself that works amazing in your life that allows it to be easy for you to be consistent because consistency wins everything when it comes to weight loss. So we want to help you create a system that will allow you to be consistent without it being so difficult. And so important that consistency cannot happen without authenticity. Oh, you cannot be oh. consistent if you're not being yourself. I know. And like, I'm like, you don't value your, like your own opinion. Like in my mind, I'm like, don't you value what you like, what you want to do? I just don't understand how we're paying other humans to help you do like, do like to do they, they don't even help you to tell you. Whereas like here, and like at a very, very sustainable price, which is also like, we haven't had that honest conversation with our listeners, but $150 for three days. Who do, are you Oprah? Like, do, who do they think is there this, these people that can afford that? And also they do not care what you do in one month. No, our, our membership is less than that. And that is for four months of making sure that you're taking your time, that you can coexist this with your life. Like, do they think they have pure gold? Like what, who do they think is this audience? And the saddest part is they are winning. They are laughing. <laughs> Look at all these people buying $150 for three days of something. I'm telling you, they are making fun of you. Like I almost think background. too, if it was like too cheap, people wouldn't buy it. It's like part of this like mental thing, like, oh, it must work because it's expensive. Listen, you'll have That's to do your weight loss for multiple years, but like, at the end of the day, you know, when you said it worked, that's a year later where you're like, I am, wow, I am a different person that works. Yeah. In one year, you lost $150 of yeah. your 10, 10 pound, three day, whatever it's called. Okay. So like in my mind, I'm like, wow, like we're really not like human beings are like what in the moment and they're not seeing how future results are coming by investing in time. Okay. All right. We're back to that. Oof, huh? Okay. Uh, okay. So how to create a meal plan. We will tell you how to create your own meal plan where you're like, you're the boss. You are um, the boss. How to attract your progress is a piece, but that's like, you know, using team, using templates, like, are you going to weigh in the scale, that whole conversation? Yeah. Um, and then the other section is how to find the problem. Mm. 
that's a good one, you guys. So basically Alicia, Alicia was the one kind of behind this idea. And she's like, I'd love for, for there it to be a section for like troubleshooting. So like if someone's feeling like they can't figure it out, like they can't figure out why they're not being successful, AKA I think I'm doing great and I am not losing weight. You know, it's not working. At the end of the day, you're not losing weight because you're not in a calorie deficit. So that like, that's like, take the emotions out. You're not a bad person. It's you are not creating calorie deficit right now. That is what is missing for your weight loss. So maybe you're like, I don't know why I'm not creating calorie deficit. Like where are these calories coming from and how can I attack that AKA problem that I'm not in a deficit. So that's where we talk about like binging weekends, um, uh, emotional eating, uh, scarcity mindset, consistency, accountability, um, your timeline. Like you think, because you know what you thinking you are not successful is just that it's a perception so I could be not losing weight, but I'm successful if that's what I perceive that to be. I could be losing a pound a month and I'm successful if I perceive it that way, but I could also be, I'm not being successful. So please know that like you being successful or not, or you struggling is just a perception of your results. And so we need to go deep and say, okay, you have a right to have that perception, but also sometimes like you've just lost five pounds this month. Why are you thinking that it's not working? Like what's happening? <laughs> like, so it's like having those conversations of like, are you literally not being successful? And if you are not, no, I'm literally not losing weight. Okay. So you're not in a calorie deficit. That's what it means. It doesn't mean you're not successful. Just means you're not in a calorie deficit. So if we can start changing your language, it really changes your relationship with weight loss. And it changes the way you act. We yeah. undervalue our thoughts and our actions. And guys, every single action you have starts with a thought. So yeah. that's where we start at your weight loss. We start with your thoughts and mm -hmm. most other programs are starting with your actions and they are just telling you what to do. Those people, they're helping you to lose weight, but that is it. That is it. That's all that's going to happen. You're probably not going to keep it off. You're definitely not going to change your mindset, your habits, your relationship with the food, your relationship with your body, your relationship with the scale. That's what we want to do. We want to change your life. And that happens when you change your language. Yeah. Because if you don't change your thoughts, your life will all, like, you will always behave according to your thoughts. You guys yeah. understand, right? So if we, if you don't change your thoughts, you will never change the way long-term you're acting or behaving. Like it's your thoughts really drive your path in life. And so that's why we attack your thoughts first, because your thoughts brought you to this moment. If you are sitting with a hundred pounds uh, of excess fat, 50, whatever, it's all because of your thoughts have driven your actions to this moment. Not your actions are the issue. It's, we have to go deep into what, what are the thoughts making you convincing you of these actions? Yeah. Okay. You guys. So, I mean, that was a passionate podcast passion. Passion is what we have. We're not frustrated. We're not mad. Like we're so passionate about what we do. And I, I don't think like someone asked like why I just don't see why this program would be different. Did you see that? Someone commented that on my, um, so I said, what is stopping you from joining your weight loss? Yeah, yeah. Let's finish with this conversation. Okay. The person said, I've tried everything and I just can't see how this is different. Okay. And I said, have you ever started a program that does not give you a meal plan, an exercise plan, or tell you to lose X amount of weight? right there. It's different right there. Most are like, no, I've never really tried that. Okay. Well, there you go. That's different right there. I never told you that it was magical and there was no work. I told you it was different. And so, and no one can like say it's not different. None of our members would ever say it's not different because they're like, holy shit, I'm actually being successful. It's clearly different. Um, but anyone that's tried it, even people that are like, I get not against it, but like, wow, really taken aback by our way they can say it's different. Everyone agrees that your weight loss is different, right? Um, now everyone, not everyone agrees that like, oh my God, I get to like, this is exactly what I was waiting for. But it's also because you're not like, you have to literally like open up your heart to like your weight loss. Like you have to open up your like mind, not heart, but mind, well, heart as well to that type of way. Cause yeah. if not, you are shutting it down. You would shut down anything right now, honestly. 
you know, you would shut down. Even if I told, gave you a pill, you're like, why? Like sometimes you're just in that mindset. You're yeah. just in that mind frame. Yeah. And I said, have you ever been, I'm just going to go and, and just make sure that I don't miss anything that I said. Cause I thought it was really good. Um, I said, have you ever been is it before my announcement that I'm eating 10 lobster rolls or after? Um, okay. Have you ever been part of a program that focuses on your relationship with food? The lead, where the lead faces show up every day to show consistency, language, and truth has members celebrating their, I wanted to like really show how di like different pieces of what your weight loss is, has members celebrating their anniversary and because they're so proud of the person they have become. Like, have you ever been of a program that like that usually happens, you know? And it's like, probably not. Most people have been in programs where what's it, what is celebrated is their physical, you know, transformation. Yep. Yep. Um, that's like how it. much weight, they, that's it. How much weight they've lost. Like that's yeah. it though. So, you yep. know, here's how you create a calorie deficit. This is what you'll look like, bam. That Done. is what most programs do. Guys, if this is perfect. If you are tired of dieting, if you're actually mm -hmm. willing and ready to put in the work, if you're like, okay, I want to take charge of my own life. I want this for myself. I want to feel better in my skin and I'm willing and ready to put in the time, effort, and energy that that's going to take for me to change the way I think, to change the way I act, to create new habits in my life. But it's, it's literally, that is who your weight, weight loss is for is women that are ready to take charge of their own life and be the bosses. Yeah. Like this, this like stop, stop even thinking about the three day thing. Like, that's not you. Like, that's not like in my mind, I'm like, if you are the person that's like, this seems great. You're not ready for your weight loss. It's that right. simple. If right. you are not questioning that type of program, you're definitely not ready for a four month. Let's learn. Let's change the way I think, because the way you think is leading you to think that that like, you know what I mean? That that is a thing that that is actually like worth money time. Like, it's just too much for me. Like, I'm like, too okay, much. well, we're not at this too much. <sighs> okay. okay, everyone. Look, so look at the link. I mean, there's, yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have a code right now, which is something that we've never done um, at your weight loss, but we're excited to be able to provide some sort of, you know, excitement and fall promo. So with code YWWL20, uh, when you check out um, at the checkout page for the four month, six month or yearly membership, you get 20% off. Um, that is massive. You guys, that's, that's a lot. Um, so right now you're getting the four month promo for like $135 good deal for four months, everyone, four yeah. months. Here's the difference between the three days In three days, you're going to lose 10 pounds of water and you're going to be miserable. And then you're going to get it back in next by next month. Okay. By let's be real by next Monday. Um, and then imagine in four months, how you would have changed so much, how you live your life, gr learn so much about like weight loss. Like you just like have a different repertoire of shit in your brain, honestly, and you have lost 10 pounds. I can almost guarantee you, like, you know what I mean? Like you would have actually lost 10 pounds and it, like the 10 pounds in January is actually still, still there. Whereas the 10 pounds you lose like demand and after tomorrow, whatever is not there in January, you're up 20. All right. Good talk, everyone. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you as always. Did you want to say bye? <laughs> I, it just, this was awesome. I mean, we could talk forever. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening and accepting our <laughs> enthusiasm. <laughs> happy September, everyone. It's time for you to join. Okay. Bye. Bye.